Amy here with Leap of Faith Crafting. So today we are going to be talking about the new combined tools within Cricut Design Space. So we've talked in the last five or six videos, we've kind of gone through kind of the basic functions, um, but Cricut added these combined tools in 2022, and it's more just to use if you want to kind of design your own stuff within the software. So Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape uses these same tools. And so um, Cricut brought them out for more of designers. Honestly, I don't use them a lot because um, I use a lot of Cricut Access or my own files that I make. But if you want to come in and just use a bunch of shapes and design stuff, the combined tools um, are pretty great. So I'm just going to kind of grab a couple images, shapes in here, and just show you basically what they do. Okay, so let's say we have these two, and I'm going to make these a different color so you can see what they do. Okay, so right now we have the two shapes, and we are going to place them over each other. Okay, I'm just going to duplicate these a couple times so I can show you what the different things do. Okay, so right now we have these and they're overlapping kind of right here that you can see. So right now what they always had was the slice tool. So if you just click on slice, you'll see that it slices everything that kind of overlapped. So you can move these apart and then you have the layer of this and the layer of this that's sliced. So these are always the tools that have been in here, um, that slice one. So that's what slice does. You get all the extra kind of parts that were sliced out with it. Okay. Okay, so the other tool that was always here was the weld tool. So what the weld does is it combines it into one image. So you go into combine and now the weld is right here and it combines it into one image, changes the color because now it's all the same image. Okay, so those were the two ones that were always there. So now with the new two tools, if we come back over here and just kind of overlap, and it really <clears throat> has to do with you're always kind of converting two images into one image and just what happens with the overlap of the images. So if I select both of these and now come down and click Unite, it does pretty much the same exact thing as the Weld does. So the Weld, Unite, pretty much the same thing, okay? But now you have the ability to undo the layer, undo the Unite, so you can come in and undo it. And then you have those two again. Okay, so that's the nice thing because once you weld it, you can't go back and unweld. Okay, so that's the nice thing about the Unite now is that you have the ability to undo it. Okay, so let's um, turn this back gray. Okay, and go in and overlap them, and we're going to use the subtract tool. So you can see kind of what it does here. Um, the subtract subtract is going to kind of what the slice did in a way. It's going to slice out anything that's overlapping. So if I hit subtract, now it slices out that part that was overlapping plus that front image. So it just kind of gives you the one part of the image that we had when we used slice but it gets rid of the extra overlapping pieces that were there before. So this just kind of saves you time of not having to delete things off if you just want that one specific part. Okay, I'm going to move this to the front. And if something doesn't do what you want it to do, always make sure what's in front and back because that has an effect on what happens to it. So you can see here that it subtracts the front one off. Um, but if you want it to do the opposite, then you have to change your um, up range and put things to the back. Okay, so the intersect um, kind of does what it says. It keeps the parts that intersect only. So if we click that, it's only going to keep this part. Okay, and so uh, with the combine, all of the tools, you can undo that in case you don't want it. So that just keeps, like I said, exactly, oops, 
do that. Okay, so that just keeps what is overlapping there. Okay, so so that was the intersect. So it includes so it just keeps what's overlapping, what intersects each other. Okay, so the exclude does the exact opposite. It only keeps the stuff that is not overlapping. So you want to convert these two into one image and just want the non overlapping ones. We're going to hit exclude. And you see it turns it into one image, one colored that's connected together. And you've gotten rid of that middle part that was um, overlapped. Okay, and again, if you want, you can come in here and undo that if you want. Okay, so once it's exactly how you like it, you can even come in and now merge this into one layer. So right here, you see that it has both of them still showing, um, even though it's one thing. But if I go into merge layers, now it's actually merged and it is just, and it's merged and it's just one layer here. So you can do that pretty much with any of them. On the subtract one, we can go in and merge this layer. And now it is just one layer. So we don't have two layers over here in our panel. So it just shows us all of those things. I hope that helps in just kind of talking about these different tools. And like I said, you might not use them a lot unless you're doing a whole bunch of designing within des design space. It's just kind of to, to upgrade it up into what designers use when they use Adobe Illustrator and things like that and have these specific tools in their tool belt to use. So, so just kind of play around with it. I mean, the, the really nice thing is that you're able to undo things because it used to be when you didn't do it, I was, would always make a whole bunch of duplicates in case I didn't like something. Um, but this gives you that option to go back and undo it. Okay, so make sure you hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any of my Cricut Design Space and other Cricut tutorials coming out. And I hope you have a great day.